Okay, Smokey Rob here. I'm here at White Sands Missile Range. Um, we're going to be walking through the static display, looking at the missiles and rockets, and talking a little bit about them because there's one thing I know about is barbecue and missiles. So we'll do a little tour around and see what you think. Okay, we're going to start our static di display. We've got the Pershing 2, one of our intermediate range ballistic missiles. And on this side, we got the Patriot, which I've seen a lot of in the, over the years. The Scud Buster, you can see that. The Patriot missile. And we have the Arrow B. I think that is a uh, one of the sounding rockets for the atmospheric. A Navy Lark missile. First missile to intercept and destroy a moving target. Nike, Nike Ajax. First guided missile to kill an airplane. Another mesquite tree. We got a Talos coming up here. That's uh, the Navy surface to surface, I think, missile. Over here, we got the Loki, another sounding missile. See how small they are for getting the high atmosphere. Get and get the metro, the meteorological data. Honest to John, I think it's a frog, free rocket over ground, not really guided. One of the first nuclear weapons to, in support of the uh, the troops. All right, Corporal, another one is. I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, all of a sudden they had the uh, bugler going off. All right, this is Corporal, one of the first, you know, surface to surface missiles. This is the Loon JB-2. This is our version of the uh, the V-1 buzz bomb thing that the Germans did. That they terrorized Germany and not Germany. Germany terrorized Europe with. Then the Lacrosse. And yeah, first field artillery in support of the troops. You see it mounted on a truck over here to be launched off of. There's a SS-11, uh, it's a French anti-tank missile. Step up the base over here. Yeah, here's the MACE, Air Force first surface-to-surface -surface winged cruise missile. Nike Hercules, you know, the Army's first deployed nuclear armed surface-to-air weapon. The Sidewinder missed it. The oldest, least expensive, and most successful missile uh, is the AIM 9. It's like, you know, shooting down other airplanes. Uh, it's a crossbow. It's another cruise missile. Long range cruise missile. We'll see over here is a test track for, uh, for testing missiles and thrust. Uh, back in the, the bugler keeps going off. All right, but another is the Hawk missile. What's a supplement to Nike Hercules for shooting down aircraft? XM21. I believe that was uh, a target one for. Uh, I have a lot of target uh, type aircrafts to be able to practice shooting down stuff. I think with that same with that Fire Bee and whatever that uh, motorized target over there. All right, Genie, the first air-to-air -air nuclear weapon designed for use against formations of enemy bombers. Uh, the Sergeant, the first solid fuel surface-to-surface -surface deployed in the U.S. Army. Okay, Missile A was one of their follow-on missiles of family missiles to replace the Honest John, Little John, La Crosse. The XQ-4 drone, this is a high altitude. You have to shoot something at high altitude. You have to go rocket then to be able to take it down. Now here we go, this is a Redstone rocket, named for Redstone, Arsenal, Alabama. You know, one of the Von Braun's workhorse rockets that he did, that this is what they used to send uh, the satellites, the first satellites and uh, people and uh, animals into space. 
All right, there's an unguided rocket for research rocket, the shave tail. All right, here's some more target missiles that they used uh, for his targets. The Pogo Pogo High. All right, here we have the Hound Dog, named for Elvis Presley. Um, his first air launch missile. He's kind of a forerunner of a cruise missile. Where? Supposedly moving around here. Step it out. It's a balloon launch decelerator test vehicle, which I'm not sure what that is, but sounds cool. Uh, here's something we've used before a Lance missile. If you ever seen one of these fire with the black smoke and stuff, you know what it is. It's, there it is with the carrier. One of the first uh, air to air missile tests I ever, I mean, uh, like just a missile shoot down another missile test I ever saw a Patriot shot down a Lance. The Aero B, it's another high altitude sounding rocket. There's the Pershing again. There's some Navy guns. Let's go this way. Yeah, the M39 five inch gun. It's a big one. Rocket shooting a long way. I'm not sure what this rocket is. Another Navy missile launcher. Got it. There's a radar. Helix antenna Doppler velocity radar. There's a tow missile. See the wire hanging off the back of it. SRAM, you know, short range attack missile. It's all air to surface. SAGME, surface attack ground missile. Name says it all. Copperhead, first successful cannon launch missile. There's a Roland, it was a French German mobile short range air defense missile. All right, this is a howitzer, this is a 155. I was in the 105 toad howitzers, did the fire direction control for it when I, when I'm probably moving too fast here, but I had a lot of experience with the toad artillery. RP-76 radio plane, subscale radio controlled target drone. Nice. High Mars display vehicle. This is for the MRS system. See the multiple rocket launcher system. You see the pods here with the rockets coming out. We've looked at a lot of these. Again, these are free rocket over the gown and unguided. But then they have another pod they can put on there. They have the Army Tacoms. We're just a single pod that'll replace a stack of six. And that's guided. All right, here's uh, coming up on the left is the Fat Man bomb. That's the second nuclear warhead that we ever dropped on it on Japan. And we're back to where we started. Okay, here we are at the uh, the V2 rocket display. You can see here it's a fair sized rocket. There's the cockpit area with instrumentation for here. It was rumored years ago, I always heard that there was actually a man that was in it that had to guide it, which would not be a very good trip because it would be sort of one way. But they, in the rocket team, Werner von Braun and Robert Goddard and all of them came to here. This is the rocket that they really, really learned how to shoot rockets. They shot us a lot here in White Sands and they learned a lot from this rocket. This is what they brought with them from Germany. So it's a very interesting piece of history. See, it's, a, see it's got a fuel tank, oxidizer tank. So there's the engine where it mixes it all and blows it out the back. Liquid. Uh, this is a a Dragon anti-tank missile. I shot one like that and it looked like that back in the day. Shooting that off your shoulder, wire guided. Had to pick that thing up about 30 yards away then guide it in. It was rather interesting. A lot of heat in your face. Pretty interesting. There's a tow missile. There was a fired off of the vehicles and they were also wire guided. There's a spool of wire that came off the back. And the 2.75 rockets with the rocket launchers that you saw on a lot of the helicopters. Well, I hope you enjoyed that walk through of the, uh, the missile park and just talk a little bit about the missile, just seeing them. And 
hopefully we'll get around here and find some some good barbecue good green chili cheeseburgers so until next time smoky rob saying stay smoky